Another attack in Mali, this time on the outskirts of Bamako, a resort popular with Westerners and wealthy Malian families. Four gunmen stormed the resort just after lunchtime as families gathered around the swimming pool. They started firing as they entered. There was a foreigner in the swimming pool who grabbed a gun and shot one of the attackers. That's when the situation suddenly deteriorated. We called the local police. The attackers took them hostage. A French soldier inside the sprawling resort called for help. Some of the attackers took position from a vantage point, expecting a gunfight. We were told around 4 p.m. that there were gunshots. Security forces arrived on the ground straight away. Once they arrived, the attackers fell back towards the hill and tried to hold the ground. At first, we thought it was armed robbers, but we know that armed robbers don't try to stand their ground. That's how we worked out it was a terror attack. Quickly, Malian, French and UN forces were on the ground. It took hours to rescue most of the hostages. I was with some clients and I helped them jump out over a wall. I got tens of people out that way. After a prolonged gunfight, security forces say they neutralized attackers. I saw one guy with a broken leg. I don't know if it was from a gunshot, but yes, there were injured people. They found explosive devices inside the resort. They continue to sweep the area, fearing some of the attackers may be on the run. No one yet has claimed responsibility for the attack. This is one of many attacks affecting Mali in recent months. In March, Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb joined forces with three other insurgent rebel group of northern Mali, targeting Westerners, soldiers and the Malian state. Despite efforts by the government by bringing more troops on the ground, these attacks have intensified. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bamako.